Australian Mathematics Curriculum, Mixed Numbers and Improper Fractions. Mixed numbers and improper fractions happen when I've got more than one whole of something. So here I ate one whole pizza, eight eighths, one whole, and I ate two quarters of a pizza, oh sorry, two eighths of a pizza, silly me, which means I ate ten eighths of a pizza. That is an improper fraction. It's improper when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. I can write an improper fraction as a mixed number representing a certain number of holes. Now I can see definitely there I ate one whole pizza and I ate two eighths of a pizza. And if I was going to simplify it perfectly, it would be one and one quarter. I ate one pizza and a quarter of a pizza. We need to be able to convert from mixed numbers to improper fractions and back. So if I have an improper fraction and I want it to be a mixed number, what I need to do is work out how many holes I have. So here I've got seven fifths. Every lot of five-fifths is one whole. So you can see I have five-fifths and two-fifths left over. So the way I work that out mathematically, divide the numerator by the denominator. Seven divided by five is one. That says I've got one whole lot of five over five. And my remainder, 2, says I've got 2 fifths left over. So 1 whole is 5 fifths, and 2 fifths left over is 7 fifths. Let's do it with another one, 29 over 8. Well, 29 divided by 8 gives me 3 whole lots, and three lots of eight is 24. So I've got three whole lots of eight over eight, and a remainder of five says I've got five eighths left over. Turning the page, I also need to be able to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. A couple of different ways to do this. I've used an easy example. I should have used a hard one. 1 and 11 fourteenths. That whole number needs to be represented as a certain number of fourteenths. One whole would be 14 fourteenths. So I multiply the big whole number by the denominator and add it to the numerator. So I've got here, I've got 14 fourteenths and 11 fourteenths, and that is 25 fourteenths. If it was something a little bit trickier, okay, let's say we've got 3 and 2 fifths, Multiply your whole number by the denominator. 3 times 5 is 15, because that 3 holes is 3 lots of 5 fifths. That's 15 fifths plus 2 fifths, which is 17 fifths. You don't have to show that step if you don't want. I find it helps me. So my rules. Improper fraction to mixed number, divide the numerator by the denominator, write down our whole number answer, 
and the remainder oops my spelling today remainder gets put over the denominator mixed fraction or mixed numbered improper fraction multiply whole number by the denominator add to the numerator oh dear numerator and put it over the denominator. Now, when we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing with our mixed numbers and improper fractions, about the easiest rule is always convert to improper fractions first. You can get away without it in some cases, but it's much safer to do your maths with improper fractions and then convert back to mixed numbers. So these two sums here really need to convert to improper fractions first. So 2 and 1 half, well that big whole 2 is 2 times 2 is 4, that's 4 over 2 added on. I've got 5 over 2 minus, here I've got 1 and 5 sixths, uh, 1 is 6 sixths, I've got 11 sixths, looks like I might end up with an, okay, we'll be alright, um, we're adding and subtracting, so I must have common denominators, I don't need to change 11 over 6, that 5 over 2, just work that out over here, I'll be multiplying by 3 over 3, it will be 15 over 6, so I've got 15, 15 sixths minus 11 sixths equals 4 over 6. Can I simplify? Yes, I can. I was doing bad mathematical practice by not writing my equal signs down the page, but I was going to run out of space. Divide by 2 on the top leaves me 2. Divide by 2 on the bottom leaves me 3. I have 2 over 3. Next question, multiplying, absolutely convert to improper fractions first. Okay, so 3 and 1 third, 3 holes, 3 times 3, that would be 9 over 3, plus that 1 third we had there is 10 over 3 times uh, 2 times 5 is 10, so I've got 10 over 5 with this 2. I add that onto my two fifths, I've got 12 over 5. Then I can do my multiplication as I normally would. Remember, I can cancel first, and it doesn't matter whereabouts in the fraction it is as long as it's top to bottom. So 10 and 3 I can't cancel, but 10 and 5 I can. 5 goes evenly into both of them. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Often a good idea to rewrite because it'll get messy. So I've got 2 thirds times 12 over 1. Anything else I can cancel? Yes, I can cancel the 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I've got 2 over 1 times 4 over 1, which is 8 over 1 which is just 8. Well, that was easy. 